Welcome to Electron Online, and in this video we're going to give you the basic concept of what compounded interest is and the comparison between simple versus compound interest. So here we're working out the problem we did in the previous video. We're investing a principal uh, of $2,000. We have a 5% interest rate or 5% rate as we call it and for a time of three years but it's not compounded so you only get the interest at the end of three years. So the interest earned is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. So in this case that would be $2,000 times the rate of 0 0.05 times the time of three years. And so the total will be six times that, that would be $300. So that would be the interest earned after three years. But what if they were to compound it? And so we're going to start out with a simple concept of compounded yearly. Typically the bank nowadays compounds it daily because we have computers, easy to calculate it, easy to compute it. But let's understand the concept. So we're going to start with compounded yearly. That means every year we're going to add the interest earned to the principal and that will now become your new principal. So year one, the principal earned in after one year is going to be equal to, or I shouldn't say the principal earned, the interest earned, the interest earned after one year is going to be the principal deposited the first year times the rate times the time. So in this case, that's going to be $2,000 initially invested times the rate, which is 0.05, times the time, which is now just going to be one year, because after one year, we're going to add the interest to the principal to become the new principal for the second year. So in this case, that is going to be equal to $100. All right, that means that the interest earned in the second year, so, and before I go on, what that means is therefore the principal to be invested in the second year is going to be equal to the principal in the first year plus the interest earned in the first year. So in this case, that's going to be $2,000 plus the $100 that you earned. So now that's going to be an investment of $2,100 for the second year. So the interest earned the second year is going to be equal to the principal of the second year times the rate times the time. So in this case, that's going to be now $2,100 times the rate of 0.05 times the time of one year. And so this is now going to be, hmm, let's see here, looks like $105 instead. So the interest earned the second year is going to be $105. Well, let me see to make sure I got this correct. 100 times 0 0.05 and that's $105. So that is now the interest earned in the second year. So what will now be the principal that's going to be invested in the third year? So you can see now that the principal invested in the third year is equal to the principal invested in the second year plus the interest earned in the second year, which in this case is going to be 200, uh, no, 2,000. Let's see, the second year we invested $2,100 and we earned another $105. So that means we're going to invest $2,205 the third year. That's now going to be the principal for the third year investment. So now the interest earned in the third year is going to be equal to the principal we're investing in the third year times the rate times the time. So in this case, the principal is now going to be $2,205 times the rate 0 0.05 times one year. And now let's see what we earn. So that would be uh, 2,205 times 0 0.05 equals, and so now we're going to earn $110.25. So what is the total amount of interest that we've earned? So we can now write over here, interest total is going to be interest of the first year plus the interest of the second year plus the interest of the third year. So when we add them all together, that will be $100 plus $105 plus $110.25 for a total of $315.25. So how much more money did we earn? How much more interest did we gain when we compounded yearly versus simple interest? A simple interest, we earned $300 compounded yearly. We earned $315. And 25 cents. So if there were two banks side by side, one bank advertising 5% for three years, another bank says, I'll give you 5% compounded yearly for three years, which bank would you go to? You go to the second bank and get an additional $15.25.
So there you can see the difference of how compounded interest works versus simple interest. And of course, what we can do next is instead of compounding it yearly, maybe we'll compound it monthly and then we'll compound it weekly, and then we'll compound it daily. The more you compound it, the quicker you'll be earning interest on the interest that you've made. So, we'll see that in our next videos of how compounding more quickly, more often, will give you more money. At some point, you can start compounding hourly, or by the minute, or by the second, and then you'll see that the extra advantage is very, very minuscule, but there's a big difference between simple interest and compounding yearly, and maybe compounded yearly and compounded monthly and so forth, and then the gains become smaller and smaller as the difference is really not that great. But you'll see that, how that works in the next videos. And there you go, that's how we do that.